Yeah. That's going to be the key for you guys to do well in tournament play, NCAA tournament play. You know, a big key is to get past the, the SEC championship now. We've got to get focused on a new mission. We were so focused last week and put every bit of mental and physical energy we had into winning that championship. So um, we've taken a couple of days off. We're off again today and just told them mentally and physically take a break and then we've got to go back to work. And we've got to play with the same intensity and desire and defend the same way we did in the SEC tournament. That's going to be key for us to make an NCAA run. Did you see it coming? Going the SEC in there? tournament? Yeah. You know, the beginning of the season, we knew we were capable. We right. knew um, this was one of our best teams ever, and we knew we could compete for an SEC championship. Um, coming into the tournament, uh, the way we did, um, well, we had one in three games, I think. Um, you know, we were we were concerned on one hand, but on the other hand, we knew we had great leadership with our team, and we knew they were embarrassed with the way we finished seventh and um, we knew they were capable of making a run so I think I was I knew it was possible um, I was just a little nervous if we perform or not you never know until kickoff so but once the whistle blew in the LSU game I knew you know and I felt it all week as, as we went on you just felt like this was our almost destiny um, for this tournament because everything fell into place for us and we played like we've never played before in the in the in the last game, to be up two to nothing and then give it back, <laughs> and then uh, uh, how, how big was that then to be able to come right back pretty early in the second half and get the lead back? Well, the obviously the third goal was critical, but the going up 2 zero, you know, we knew Ford was capable of coming from behind. They did it to us in Gainesville twice. We were up one zero in Gainesville, and then we were up two one, and we lost three two in overtime. So we knew they were capable. Um, I was very concerned that we gave up a goal late in the first half. Last couple minutes of the first half, we gave up a goal to go 2-1. I you know, really would have felt good about a 2-0 lead at halftime. 2-1, I was concerned. Um, but with the leadership we had on the field and the resiliency this team showed all week, um, once we scored that third goal, I felt good about us being able to defend and hang on. And hang on, we did. At the end of the game, we were hanging on for dear life. <laughs> in that situation, to someone who's not an expert on your game, you're not really trying. You're just trying to keep the ball at the other end as much as you can. I mean, yeah, there were two things we were trying to do. You know, once you're up, and there was a lot of time left. I think right. almost 25 minutes when we went up three-two, um, and one, the TV timeout helped us because we don't normally get those. So we were able to regroup and organize. And the the two things you're trying to do is obviously keep it out of your defensive end. And if you just got to clear it into the corner of the for the other team, then you do that. Certainly, that's what we're trying to do late. And the other thing we were trying to do is keep the ball when we got it. If we could keep it and possess it a bit, um, you know, you can't score if you don't have the ball. So, you know, trying to have our offense be our, our first line of defense in that situation. Talk about Katie. I mean, I guess she broke the scoring record. Uh, just, just how, how good is she? You know, she's. Certainly the best player I've ever coached. And she's, you know, last week was the best player um, in the tournament with the tournament MVP, and I thought that was deservedly so. She, I think her future is unlimited. I think she'll go to the Pro League. Um, I heard uh, when we rewatched the TV game, Tony DiCicco was doing the color commentator, and he's our former national team coach. He's won a world championship and a gold medal. He's coach, coaches in the Pro League, and he, think, he said he thinks she'll be a high draft pick. Um, and has national team, full national team potential, depending on how she does in the pros. And I agree completely with that. I think her future is unlimited. And to have her on our team is just invaluable. The way she played in the conference championship game, she just was determined and said, we are not losing this game. We are winning this game. And she had the ability um, to make it happen. She was unreal. Best game she's, I think she's ever played in her career. Do you much, know much about teams that are going to be here? Um, well, it's just single game this year. We changed the tournament format. It used to be first and second round were in the first weekend, and then it was a single game the next weekend, and they switched that. So it's just one team. It's Utah State. And we don't know much about them at all. I was just on Mark we, uh, Kanani, my assistant, got on it already, and he's, he had a scouting report uh, by the end of yesterday. Um, so we know they're a possession team. We know they play really good soccer. Um, they're very similar to us. I think they'll probably play in a three-front type system and have three forwards. They've got a really good center forward and a really good attacking mid. Um, and they're they're hot right now, having won their conference championship. So we know it's going to be a quality team coming in. Karen, what would it mean to you guys to make a strong run in the tournament just for the overall program? Oh, it's you know it's been a goal for a long time. As you know, we've we've 
been to the second round quite a few times, but we've never advanced to that Sweet 16 round, and that's been a program goal for several years, and that that is the next step of our program. We took a huge step winning our first ever SEC tournament title, um, and the first one ever for the, any West program, so that was a, a huge step for the program, but we want to do more than that. Um, that was one of our goals was the SEC, and the other goal is the NCAA tournament, so if we can make a, a run and go further than we've ever been, it would be monumental for our program. They didn't do you any favors on the draw, did they? <laughs> no, they didn't. But I will say, looking at this tournament field, I think it's the best group of 64 that women's soccer has ever had. I, you know, I'm certainly not happy with our draw, but I look at some of the other draws, and there's a lot of worse draws. I mean, there are some fantastic first-round games. So, um, you, you know, it's one of those things. It's the NCAAs. You're going to get good teams all the way around, and if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best. So. We're ready. We're ready to make a run. So where will you go if you win? If we win, uh, most likely we would go to Oklahoma State. And the f on Friday, we would play the winner um, of Maryland LaSalle. Um, that's who we're matched up with. And then Oklahoma State is the two seed, and we're the three seed. So uh, that game wouldn't happen if the seed. If both of you win, then you, then you play on Sunday. Right. Okay.